My name is Michael Elliott Ward Swamp, and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name. I'm really sorry about the fan in the background, but it's hot out here. I'm testifying about, it's a testimony about something I haven't testified about yet. Um, these things have been happening to me for 10 years, 25 times a day. So I have a lot of testimony to reveal. So it's going to take me a very long time to bring it all to my mind. I've even been asking Jesus. I've even been asking Jesus to uh, write me a remembrance of everything that I've been through with him for the past uh, 10 years. <clears throat> this testimony is about the devil has been visiting me regularly once every three days for about six hours a day when I try to lay down to take a nap because God know he knows it knows that God has given all prophets prophetic dreams in this time beyond measure. So it's been visiting me, trying to intimidate me, trying to make me not testify. Whenever the devil breathes in my face now, <laughs> with great anger, it reveals to me, um, it tries to intimidate me, but now I just laugh at it and say, get away from me, Satan, you joke in Jesus' name. This testimony is about, <clears throat> um, after God anointed my life with dreams, visions, and revelations, six to ten months after I got the vision of the angel, the demon, and the vision of God, he was completely invisible, but it was like invisible angels were throwing balls of mist at him and it would hit his invisible silhouette and it would roll off his body one hit him in the face and it rolled off his jaw that's how i knew how tall he was he was like 14 feet tall super big super massive i mean his shoulders were like this um six to ten months after that day this happened i couldn't sleep I was terrified, just like anybody would be when it, this just starts happening to them, when they know that demons are around them, but they're completely invisible. It's terrifying. It's traumatizing. It's, pet it's petrifying. Petrifying. Terrifying. So it's impossible to sleep, especially when their main mission is to deprive you of sleep. I went to my cousin Marjorie's house so that I could go to sleep. I needed to be around somebody. And I felt really bad because she was being really cool and nice, dude. We were like playing SSX, but I tricky like on GameCube, and I was so tired. There's not words for how tired I was. I was up for days, terrified of these things. So I told her, "I'm just so tired, Marjorie. I gotta go to sleep." So to be like super nice, just like she is, she went into the living room, put the blinds down, give me a pillow and a blanket, and shut the lights off. I didn't want to be disrespectful, so I didn't turn the lights back on, but I was deathly terrified because I was in the dark. I'm laying on that couch. <laughs> and, um, and, um, I did not expect this, but, so I'm laying on the couch, and I got the covers on, but it's only covering my waist, the covers. They're not up to my chest. And... It's the middle of the day, probably 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been up for two days at this point. And I hear the devil that's been visiting me once every three days for the past two to three weeks now. Doing this. And it, it I didn't know it was right in my, it was right next to my face and I didn't know it. And it went, <laughs> I just spit all over the computer. I'm really sorry about that. But <laughs> it went, <laughs> When the devil breathes, when you when you have a discernment of spirits and hear the devil speak, when you hear the devil speak, it sounds completely different than any other demon because it sounds like an evil god. It's a perfectly evil god. And that's what it is. Jesus said the devil is the god of this world, and it is. When it talks, you know it's the devil. I don't even think you have to have a discernment of spirits to understand that it's the devil when you hear the devil talk, if you're ever, ever able to hear the devil talk. So... I didn't know it was the devil at the time, but I know I knew it was something perfectly evil, perfectly full of hatred toward me. And it breathed. And it's been doing this for the past three days, trying to lay in this bed, trying to take a nap for the past three days. For the, no, 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 no. For once every three days, it'll visit me for like six hours a day. It's amazing how real all of this is. Um, so it breathed in my face. This is six to ten months after I had after I got anointed with dreams, visions, and revelations. It breathed in my face. I didn't know it was the devil. I knew it was something perfectly evil. But I was terrified, so petrified I couldn't move. I was so terrified that I couldn't even pull the covers up over my head because I was 
petrified stiff, but the covers were like right here. And I, I was so scared I could barely move my eyeballs. And I'm like, I got the pillow, and I'm like this, and I'm like, I, I was like this, like looking up at it, because I, I knew it was right in front of me, whatever it was. And it, I felt a finger with a fingernail reach through my skin, my chest, and my ribs, and it touched my heart, and it poked it. You know how your heart goes, bump, 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 bump. This is what mine did, bump, bump. When it poked me, it went, bump, bump, bump. And it, it like, it was, it beated super hard. So hard that it made my whole body vibrate. And at the same time, my whole body got warm from my heart. And it got warm about to right here. This, this much of my body, about this much. And it got super warm at the same time as being deathly terrified of this evil thing that I couldn't see in front of me that I knew was right there. And it knew I knew it was right there, which was the devil. It placed with some type of power fear inside of me at the same time. So not only was I afraid of this thing beyond petrification, but I, it put with some type of power fear inside of me on purpose at its will. And I don't know how it did it. I'm not the devil, but it did. And, um... Oh, this is why I just made this video for eight minutes and this is why I had to do it over because I forgot to mention this part, which is very, very important. After it did it and I understood what it just did, it, I, the first thought I had was these evil things that have been haunting me for the past six to ten months can hurt me. They might be able to kill me. It touched my heart. I felt like I could die. And it laughed. After it happened, after it did that, it laughed. It went... And it sounds like an evil god. It went after it did it, and I had that revelation. It could kill me. It did this, <laughs> and it laughed. Super evil. It was not that loud. I think that Marjorie could have even heard it. Her door was shut. She shut her door, her door too, to be respectful. And I would have given anything for her to just have that door open. I didn't want to disrespect her or anything though, because I was so grateful that she was letting me uh, sleep there for the night. And it laughed. After it poked my heart, it went, <laughs> and it laughed, like, super close to my face, but it was more like, <laughs> like, very, very quiet, but it laughed. Sound like an evil god. Um, but that's a testimony. That's really what it is. The devil's been visiting me so much lately. In some of my, my later videos, about a year ago, when I started making this, these testimonies, because I didn't have a laptop at the time, because prophets and saints are always really poor, and they always look really crazy, so the, Jesus said he took the weak, God said he took the weak and the foolish looking things of this world and made them truly strong and wise to confound the wise. But everything that looked strong and intelligent, he made truly weak fools so that, so, so that his plan would be perfect. I'm paraphrasing right there, but um, it's just a testimony about how real really the devil is. Jesus told me that if he testify about everything that you have ever seen, ever heard, ever everything that I, I have ever revealed to you. Because if no prophet or saint or seer can can um, discern a prophetic dream that I've given you, or this, or done that, or, or can do this, at least, at the very least, by giving these videos, these testimonies out, they'll grant people faith in what will happen when they die. It's not like you're sleeping when your heart stops beating. But, um... Repent. It is vital to being a Christian. Do not think that you can practice sin that you accepted Jesus as your savior, so you're gonna to go to heaven, but you can practice sin and think you're still going to heaven, that you still belong to Jesus. Jesus Christ gave me this testimony himself. If you think that you're saved because you accepted with your lips, Jesus Christ is your Lord and savior, but think you can go on practicing sin, I think the Bible says something, I'm paraphrasing, I think it says something like Jesus, then Jesus, it would be like Jesus died in vain, like for no reason. Um, you have to repent. Accepting Jesus Christ is accepting the word of God. Therefore, you live that way. You live by the way that God wants you to live. Everything was created for his own purpose. Repent. It's vital to being a Christian. Read the Bible to get to know God. Always pray before you see videos like this one. Before you see videos like this, ask God. Don't ever do anything anyone tells you to do. Before you ask God, if they claim to be a prophet and... Uh, they come in the name of Jesus, don't ever, still don't ever trust them. There's going to be more false prophets in this time than ever, I believe. But, um, uh, repent. It's vital to be in Christian. Always ask God for approval. I call it a seal. 
when it comes to trusting people like me saying the things that I'm saying, always ask God before you trust what we say, because we might, might not really be a prophet of Jesus Christ. We might not be called to this office. And there are many out there that believe that they're called to be a prophet and are not. And those people are the devil's gems because he it's using them to make lost people get even more lost. Um, always, always pray. Always ask for wisdom. Always pray for God's people, especially prophets, saints, seers, and people that are doing God's will. People with angelic spirits and people that um, are just anointed. Always pray for them. Um, pray for the poor. Pray for the innocent. Donate. Tithe. Just give freaking $10 to charity, dude. 10 Just give $10 to charity. You will reap infinitely more than you give, especially if you do it with a pure heart. Always make pure decisions. Don't ever think that you're alone. When you're in a closed room by yourself, don't ever think that when you're in the bathroom masturbating first thing in the morning, that God is not right there watching everything you're doing. Seriously, don't think that. Um, repent it is vital to being a Christian. Jesus loves you. God is real, the devil's real, and it is not like you're sleeping when your heart stops beating. Hell is real, it's terrifying, it's petrifying, it's hopeless, and it's eternal. You don't want to go to hell. It is not like you're sleeping when your heart stops beating. Jesus loves you more than you could ever understand. God bless you and repent.